Welcome back to Madden 17 News, everybody. My name is Mr. Hurricane, and in this video, we're breaking down the top five cornerbacks in Madden 17. I posted the top five outside linebackers earlier today and have done many of these top five videos, and I've already talked about the Madden 17 News that came out quite a while ago, so check out that playlist down below in the description if you're not up to date yet on Madden 17's information. But today we're breaking down these five cornerbacks, and the link to this article is in the description. And I'll be talking about the top five wide receivers as well, because I just want to make a few comparisons here to see how the wide receivers and the cornerbacks match up. So we'll start at number one with these cornerbacks. Who is the best in Madden 17? It is Josh Norman, now of the Washington Redskins. He is number one at 94 overall, which is low to be the highest rated player at a position, especially a premier one such as cornerback. There are two receivers who are rated above a 94, and those are Antonio Brown at 97 and Julio Jones at 96. Last year was the big year for Josh Norman in a contract year. He came through huge. He had 56 tackles, three forced fumbles, and four interceptions. He has seven in his four-year career, and he's come a long way since his rookie season. Norman got the big contract from Washington after Carolina did not re-sign him, and now he's going to be headlining that Washington secondary. And Josh Norman in Madden 17 has 90 speed, 92 acceleration, 92 agility, 92 man coverage, and 97 zone coverage. He will definitely excel in the more zone-centric schemes like the cover three, but he still has 92 man coverage and 92 agility with 90 speed, so there's no reason he can't hang with majority of the receivers in man coverage reliably. At number two, we have the guy whom I actually think should be the number one corner in this list, and it's Chris Harris Jr. of the Denver Broncos. I do believe he is the best cornerback in the NFL. He's a 93 overall, he has 89 speed, 87 acceleration, 96 agility, 94 man coverage, and 93 zone. Harris plays both outside cornerback and a lot of slot corner, and there isn't a better slot corner in the NFL. One thing that's interesting here is that his 94 man coverage is actually the best in the league for man to man, so there's a lot of room still for someone else to be higher. Not that there is one in this list or in the league, but 94 man coverage is the best we're going to see in the game out the gate. So Chris Harris is number two. I think he should be number one, but it's nitpicking. Last year, Harris had 58 tackles and two forced fumbles with two interceptions and has 12 interceptions over his five-year career in which he's only missed one game. So very impressive marks from Chris Harris. He's been very good since entering and had to come back from an ACL surgery and was just better. Do you think Chris Harris should be number one on this list, or should it be somebody else, or maybe you're happy with Josh Norman? Let me know in the comments section. But let's move on to number three, dropping down to 92 overall. So Norman at 94, Harris at 93. Now at 92, we have Richard Sherman of the Seattle Seahawks. We have the cover athlete of Madden 15 at 89 speed, 90 acceleration, 96 agility, 88 man coverage, and 94 zone. Another cornerback who excels in zone coverage and those zone-centric schemes that I think we're going to see a lot more going forward as the NFL teams continue to mimic one another. Josh Norman has three better zone coverage and is also a better man coverage corner when you look at just speed and man coverage. We don't see press, which I'm sure Richard Sherman's is one of the highest. But Sherman with 89 speed, 88 man coverage, you're not going to want to use him so much in man coverage situations. Not that 88 man coverage is bad, but that's not where he's going to be best used. And with 89 speed, he might be able to get outrun. Last year, Richard Sherman had 50 tackles, no sacks or forced fumbles, and two interceptions. He has 26 interceptions in his five-year career, and he's never missed a game. So we had one player at 94, one at 93, one at 92, and we have two at 91 to finish this list. Patrick Peterson is number four. And he has 93 speed, 92 acceleration, 97 agility, 92 man coverage, and 89 zone. So a more man coverage oriented corner this time around with the best speed we see on this list. And along with 92 man coverage, two behind Chris Harris, 97 agility. If you want to play a lot of man coverage like I have started to do more on Madden, here is the perfect guy. Last year he had 35 tackles, one forced fumble, two interceptions, 
and over his five-year career he has 17 interceptions. He's also never missed a game. And I completely forgot about this, but in his rookie year he had four punt return touchdowns and hasn't had one since. Obviously with Patrick Peterson, maybe you want to move him to wide receiver because you just want to get that speed and catching ability out there instead. Or you want to play him at returner, you can go ahead and do that. And now also at 91 overall, we have the number five player. It's Darrell Revis of the New York Jets. Revis has 89 speed, 92 acceleration, 89 agility, 90 man coverage, and 86 zone coverage. I'm used to seeing higher man coverage ratings for the best cornerback, so to see 94 as the best is kind of something I have to adjust to here. Revis has 89 speed and 90 man with 89 agility. Compare that to Richard Sherman with 89 speed as well, 96 agility, and 88 man. So I, I questioned Richard Sherman's man coverage ability in Madden 17 earlier. I didn't think it would be bad, but I wondered if it would lack, but then it's not too far away from what Darrell Revis can do in man coverage with a little bit less agility and a little bit more man coverage. So maybe it's not really a big deal, but the ratings are just a little bit different. If you want to play Richard Sherman in zone, he's going to be better than if he's in man. And then similarly, Revis is better in man than he is in zone. Is 89 speed going to be enough this year? We're going to find out. But the wide receivers and cornerbacks seem to be pretty close in line with their speeds. And then we're not seeing the same, at least from a couple examples, we're not seeing the young players, the rookies, have the same speed advantage they had last year. Before I get to that, last year Darrell Revis had 39 tackles, 5 interceptions, and in his 9 year career he has 28 total interceptions. So I just wanted to do a speed breakdown here from the cornerbacks and the wide receivers. And in the top five corners this year, we have a 90 speed from Norman, 89 for Harris and Sherman, 93 for Patrick Peterson, and 89 for Darrell Revis. And at wide receiver, the speeds were Antonio Brown, Julio Jones at 93, AJ Green at 91, Odell Beckham also at 93, and DeAndre Hopkins at 92. Those are only a handful of examples. From those examples, wide receivers do have a slight advantage. And then when you go into the top 10 rookies, we saw that Corey Coleman had 93 speed, which is the highest I've seen so far for a wide receiver. He has that along with Julio Jones, Antonio Brown, and Odell Beckham. And then at cornerback for the rookies, there is Jalen Ramsey, who has 93. And I'm not sure if the, him being a rookie helps him have 93. We didn't see a ton of fast cornerbacks in this list. It was just Patrick Peterson really as one that relies a lot on speed. So I'm hoping that it's a pretty even playing field like we were used to. And then last year it was so weird with like Mario Alford and Rashad Perriman being the fastest players in the game. If you open this list up to running backs to compare speed, then you have Lamar Miller who has 93, Ezekiel Elliott has 92, and Adrian Peterson has 92, Le'Veon Bell has 90. So we're seeing mostly low 90s for the really fast players. I haven't seen anything above 93 yet, which is interesting. I want to see how this all plays out and if there is some level of balance they achieved just by lowering kind of the cap on certain ratings like we saw with man coverage. And now we're seeing with speed. And that will do it for this top five. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and be sure to check out that playlist down below for more Madden 17 news videos. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more Madden 17 news content, and just actual content on the game when it's out in August, and leave your feedback down in the comments section. Have a great day guys, I'll see you later.